Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. This is a medical video lecture, physiology. Okay guys, so today we're gonna talk about a really very important topic that is the anterior spinothalamic tract. anterior spinothalamic tract okay guys so in a previous video we discussed about the lattice spinothalamic tract where does it start its first order neuron its origin second order neuron and the third order neuron and what happens if there is a lesion bilaterally or unilaterally okay so in this order we're going to discuss in the same manner so let's start a discussion on this so remember whenever we say about the anterior spinothalamic tract remember about the important sensation that's a crude touch sensation okay the as for a lateral spinothalamic tract we have pain and the temperature right so here the these tract carry the crude touch sensation okay guys so if there is any lesion in this so the, we're gonna suffer with a crude touch right so let's talk about this with a beautiful diagram just let me draw the segment Okay, and for fibers, let me change the color. So, let's start about the location of the anterior spinothalamic tract. So, this anterior spinothalamic tract is situated in the anterior white funiculus near the periphery. Location is anterior. anterior funiculus anterior right funiculus okay right anterior white funiculus near the periphery so here right guys so chief let me talk about that so origin remember the fibers from the anterior spinothalamic tract arise from the neurons of the chief sensory nucleus of posterior gray horn which forms the second order neuron of the crude touch so this is what I'm drawing actually over here to show you the passing is carpuscles this is chief sensory neurons starts from here this is passing is carpuscles, okay? Right? This is passing is carpuscles. And from this, in the chief sensory nucleus, like for lateral spinothalamic tract, we have uh, substantia gelatinosa of Orlando and marginal nucleus. For this, we have what you call chief sensory nucleus. So let me change the color and show you. This is what, okay, guys? So let's start a second order neuron. Okay. The first order neurons are situated in the, as we said, the posterior nerve root ganglia. Okay, and these fibers receive the impulses of crude touch sensation from the pressure receptors. Remember, pressure receptors. Okay. And axons of the first order neurons reach the chief sensory nucleus. This is the chief sensory nucleus. Okay, chief sensory nucleus okay right guys through the posterior nerve root right now the anterior spinothalamic tract contains the crossed fibers as we seen in lateral spinothalamic tract means after taking the origin these fibers cross obliquely in the anterior white commissure and enters the anterior white column of the opposite side and here the fibers which happens they ascend through the other segment of the spinal cord and the brainstem, brain stem that is the medulla, pons, and midbrain, and reach what ultimately thalamus. So they cross like this. Right? 
like this they will reach okay and remember as we discuss in uh, what you call in uh, Lattice panothermic tract here also the few fibers of this tract ascend in a posterior gray horn of for two or three segments in the same side and then cross over to the anterior white column of opposite side okay so they cross like this and they reach what you call brain stem and medulla first there comes the medulla right then we have cerebellum like this okay then pons then midbrain then ultimately thalamus right so they go and end in the thalamus the first second order neuron is or second order neuron right the first order neuron is from here to here to the chief sensory nucleus from chief sensory nucleus to till the thalamus is the second order neuron and from thalamus to sensory cortex this is sensory cortex is what third order neuron and third order neuron is nothing but thalamocortical fibers they carry the same sensation uh, same tract like what you call uh, um, the latter spinothermic tract and here in the medulla this is medulla this is cerebellum cerebellum okay pons right so in this area here comes okay in the, what you call in the near the medulla uh, these forms a spinal lemniscus as we discussed in a uh, lateral spinal thermic tract these uh, lateral spinal thermic tract and what you call ascending spinal thermic tract they run together and from this area known as what you call uh, a spinal lemniscus okay so now let's talk about the termination how they end okay so remember while ascending these as a what you call a ascending um, spinal therm uh, anterior spinal thermic tract through the brain stem the number of fibers is considerably reduced since most of the fibers from the what you call the collaterals and reach the reticular formation of the brain stem okay and the termination how do they terminate is the fibers from the anterior spinothalamic tract terminate in the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of thalamus ventral ventral posterior lateral nucleus of thalamus right guys right excellent okay that's good so do you remember where does this what you call uh, the the uh, lateral spinothermic tract they terminate they terminate the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus the same position where they end okay right so now the neurons of this thalamus nucleus from forms the third order neurons and they run up to what you call sensory cortex that's it right so now let's talk about the function as we said the function of this tract is to what you call transmit the impulses from crude touch what is the effect of the lesion if there is a bilateral lesion of this tract suppose bilateral lesion okay of this tract leads to what loss of crude sensation crude touch sensation okay and even sensation like itching and tickling right there's a loss okay if you talk about the unilateral lesion of this tract causes loss of crude touch sensation in opposite side below the level of lesion okay because the fibers of this tract crosses to the opposite side in the spinal segment only spinal cord only right same as what we had discussed in the lateral spinal thermal tract so if you take out this lesion what happens unilateral lesion no a sensation will be carried to the opposite side but below this level level of lesion right okay guys so got it so thank you so much for watching this video let me revise you once again the anterior spinal thalamic tract these fibers carry the crude touch sensation they originate from anterior white funiculus near the periphery and the first order the second order neuron starts from chief sensory nucleus okay of the what you call the posterior gray horn right and from there they recross to the same side reach the thalamus and at the thalamus the second order neuron ends that is the ventral ventral posterior lateral nucleus of thalamus and from the posterior from this thalamus the third order neuron starts till the sensory cortex okay and these fibers crosses on the same side of the segment that's it so what is the function of this they carry crude touch sensation and what are the receptors is a pressure receptors okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care